Okay, so today is going to begin day one. Unloading and organizing everything and getting the shipping container to a point where we can get in and out and use it and We have a lot of stuff to unload uh, and We're gonna have a lot of really cool projects coming up um, All kinds of stuff and I'm gonna do a tour showing uh, everything in the container and giving an idea of some of the projects uh, coming up at the end of this video and so just real quick I know the lighting's not real good in here, but containers a mess. There's a bunch of stuff to be put away. And the reason why is because we got a lot of stuff from my sister. Uh, it's all really good homesteading stuff. I mean, I have uh, many complete sets of screws and parts and all kinds of stuff. Hardware, um, a couple of vices, uh, just all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to unload and organize it all. A bunch of stuff for the yard. I got a bunch of really cool, gigantic white rocks that I got from near Quartzsite. A bunch of them over there holding down my mat. Got all this stuff. We got a little kid's dirt bike and a mini quad we're going to use as the uh, ranch quad and shelves and an old barbecue I'm gonna restore and another ladder, uh, a really nice table and chairs, hammock, um, all kinds of stuff. Got two different bicycles. Got this really cool old Schwinn five-speed beach cruiser. I'm gonna restore it. It was sitting outside of my sister's. Um, that'll be an entire video. I'm gonna literally disassemble that bike and completely restore each part one by one and then put it all back together. And I should have a good working bike. So we'll see. So that's the project for today. Me and Sue are gonna get started on this here in a minute. And basically you're gonna see this entire container cleaned up in three, two, one, I'm gonna make a little bit of an update. We've been back here at the property now for about 10 days. And right when we were traveling back here, um, Sue got sick and she was sick for about a week. So she's still uh, getting better and working at the same time. So uh, it's been a little bit slow. A couple things have been a little bit slow on the first uh, week and a half. Um, I got a lot of stuff done here in the container. Um, we still have some stuff in the trailer to unload. Um, we're kind of waiting probably maybe tomorrow or the next day when she's feeling better. She can help me lift this stuff out. So this is what it looks like when I've got the container full. Uh, we keep the razor parked in here right now because the trailer is still full. I can't put the razor back in there and uh, call me crazy. I don't like to leave it out when I'm not using it. Um, the sun beats the heck out of it and uh, so do the mice and other things. Stuff lasts longer. I mean, it's you gotta think this thing's a 2009 and it's still in this good a condition and that's because it was kept in a garage its whole life. I'll go ahead and show this. Uh, this is my gun rack I built. And this is, uh, let's see if I can get a shot of it. This is the shelf I built with the bench and then the shelf at the end, it's 24 feet long. Um, Sue's got it full here with uh, food um i decided to start to unpack the bench a little bit and, and start to get it a little bit set up which i haven't done yet but i got a bunch of cool things from my sister she had some stuff from my dad and uh from uh her real dad also and so i've got a ton of spare parts of all types um, i have two complete metal boxes of assorted screws um Another giant thing of nuts, bolts, and screws, carter pins. Um, I mean, you name it. Uh, 
a giant box of o-rings um i got a lot of stuff a bunch of drill bits i got a couple of dremels um which i've been needing uh propane torch which i've been needing um i also got this cool bike it's a uh it's a mountain bike uh looks to me like a 20 inch it's probably the frame's a little small for me but it'll work uh hey it was free and it's a it's a really nice diamond back it's got disc brakes and all that only problem is it's got one of those presta valve and i can't air up the front so until i go back to town i have no way to air up this tire so got the toolbox in here uh the, the other two shelves that are in the shipping container or in the trailer are going to go right here um got the ladder hung uh hung a bunch of the tools outdoor tools and stuff uh, i got my spare set of razor tires back here um my ramps for uh working on cars um i kept my four stroke weed whacker from oregon i don't know if i'll ever need it here but i have it uh you know helmets and all the goodies put away all my all the cases for my guns now that they're all unpacked um just finally starting to get stuff unpacked i have a lot of tools and supplies that i can use here um on the homestead which is just awesome uh i got a lot of stuff to decorate the yard from my sister um uh, and i'm going to start doing some of that you know i'll give you a little tour around the the uh outside um sorry about the wind today we're having a, a high wind advisory we've got probably sustained winds of about 25 and gusts of about 50 so there's you're gonna hear the wind no matter what you do no matter what kind of wind muff you have so anyway uh i've got some cool things sue's found this old bird cage she's gonna make some kind of outdoor decoration out of that i uh, got our composting stuff right there i uh, got my two extra 275 gallon water tanks uh still haven't decided exactly where i'm going to use those um, this is the uh our portable generator i put it over here on the other side of the container this thing uses about uh one-fifth the amount of fuel that my onboard generator does so we use this whenever uh whenever we need uh a little extra boost um got it hooked into the shore power uh now for the wind i just made these devices and they seem to be working really well um our slide toppers were flapping a lot and i don't want to put them in all the time you know living with a, a slide that's three foot wide living with that when it's in is so obtrusive there's no room inside the rv uh, so anyways i put i put these on here and there's not a lot of tension in the rope it's got a lot of slack but i wrapped a uh, a rag around each end so that it won't cut into uh used a couple of five gallon buckets full of dirt and uh it seems to be working really good our booster i think i find i did a better job of getting it pointed at the tower but our booster is absolutely kicking butt we have better signal now here on our booster than we did in quartzite uh or any other place we've been even in big cities where we've got the the best towers um and where you have verizon uh way better way faster out here so i'm really really excited about that uh, i can't say enough uh you know if you're looking for a uh, we boost is the the company if you're looking for a good booster man this thing kicks butt i mean we're talking about speeds of five times as fast uh the other night in the middle of the night with the booster on i saw i saw speeds of uh 85 megabytes per second upload or download and 78 megabytes per second upload which is smoking fast i'll take you you know everything else around the property looks to have weathered really well uh i've already filled the rv twice from our fresh water tank uh the valve the job i did putting the uh, cover over it with the insulation worked great had no freezing whatsoever didn't lose a drop of water um got this cool hammock hanger from uh my sister's place gonna be installing that here soon. Gonna be cutting a bunch of firewood and doing a bunch of yard work. I'm gonna clean up around all the trees. Let me move a little slower. Sometimes I move a little fast on the camera. So I'm gonna clean up underneath all these trees, do a little landscaping, make it look a little bit better. Um, so far, I haven't seen any uh, 
no tracks of any animals in here. It's been real, real quiet. I walked the property really good the other day and didn't see any footprints. Uh, believe it or not, I've already got three mice, only three. I think they're all hibernating in uh, whichever three came out of hibernation. And uh, yes, the bucket, the bucket worked. In fact, honestly, it's my same three traps that always work. It's always the same three traps for some reason. I did some work on the racetrack and I need to come, I now know how much work I really need to do on it. Um, eventually we're going to build a really nice sophisticated track with it and you get a tractor and make some proper berms and stuff, um, but that's to come. But uh, starting to get some really deep ruts dug in. Um, there's some spots here where there's a bunch of rock like this, these big rocks and uh, it's kicking them up. This is towards the end of the course where you come out onto the straightaway. Okay, so here's the road. Here's turn one, where you enter. Come through, you go through turn two and three right there. And then it's got these really big rocks. I mean, look at this one big rock that came out. My tire kicked this up. Thing weighs about five pounds. But we got some big rocks. I'm going to have to, there's some that are still buried. Some really, really big rocks buried. Once again, I'm sorry if I'm swinging the camera too quick. But right here is really bad. And there's still a bunch of them buried in here. And I'm hitting them. And uh, it's really grabbing the back end of the rig. And it, if you come in here too fast and you get too much on the throttle, it, uh, it can get really hairy. Plus, these rocks are tearing the heck out of my tires. My back tires are really getting abused. Now this corner seems like it's doing all right. I think I need to dig all this middle up and move it all to the outside as a berm. And I have a bunch of extra loose dirt around the property where I was sifting the uh, all the gravel. So cutting through this way right here, that's the original course, okay? That took you through turn five. And then this was the start of turn six going all the way through. So what I did is I made an extension to the course. So now you can either go straight or keep making the curve to the right on the original course, or you can hit this hard left hand turn right here. And this is the new section. This is the whole new section. That's Osh's camp over there. So I would be out here on the razor right now, but honestly, I just took a shower and I really don't want to get all dirty. But you basically make this big sweeping turn right here, come through and then really hard on the throttle right here through this corner. The key to getting through this fast, honestly, is to be in two wheel drive and rotate the back end. You basically just run through almost the entire extra course I made here sideways. You just flick it back and forth from left to right. Come around this corner here. And I need to dig up some of these little bushes that are right in the middle. They kind of hit a few of them and it makes a really big bump. But anyway, you keep sliding all the way through this corner. And this is a decreasing radius corner, meaning that it starts to tighten up as you turn into it. And then, believe it or not, you're hard on the brakes for a second. And then you immediately go hard on the throttle again through this corner and flick it all the way through. And then comes back up. Once again, flick it to the right or flick basically the back end to the left, making the Side by side, go right. Little shot of the brakes. And then if you're hard on the throttle, you can slide all the way through. And this is where we rejoin the old course. Now, right there is where we entered the new section. Goes down around that way. And this is where the new section comes out and ends into the, into the, the old track. And right here, I'm getting a lot of rocks dug up. The same thing, starting to get a
fairly aggressive bite as you come through here and believe it or not you, it's hard to tell but there's a couple of little bumps in there and uh, when you're on the throttle it gets pretty exciting it's fun to uh, to have a little race course like that like I really really enjoy it um, I think making it is probably <laughs> as much fun as it is to uh, to drive it but yeah it's a lot of fun um, let's see it's seven more corners with one deleted so it's probably a 16 turn course now it's pretty good you know I mean the entire length is not real long um, I watched the speedometer and on the new course um, like 22 miles an hour is about as fast as you go average speeds about 18 to 20 the whole way through even though you're sideways it's just so uh, it's so tight that's kind of one of the way I wanted to make it um, my nephew has three small boys and they're gonna be out here riding the dirt bikes on it and we're probably gonna get more dirt bikes um, we're probably gonna end up eventually getting a bunch of pit bikes and making this a, uh, a pit bike track um, we may make another extended loop on it where there'll be some jumps uh, if you don't know what a pit bike is it's basically a little kids mini dirt bike that is ridden by adults <laughs> and um, there's a lot of people that race him and uh, my nephew has a friend in Flagstaff that actually uh, ha is part of a racing league with him so uh, but would it be fun to just get uh, you know five or ten people out here running a, a little race course like that you know with uh, you know few adult beverages be, be a lot of fun it's kind of fun you just can't uh, can't find anywhere else so anyway that's basically the update uh, here I'll show you the trailer and show you where we have it, the stuff we got in here so so there's a large kitchen table I got for my sister it's like a five foot by five foot square really nice we're gonna actually put it outside and have it as an outdoor table uh, there's also uh, shelving unit uh, an old uh, barbecue that i'm gonna restore um this is my shelf and it's gonna go inside also and then everything that's on it so basically get to the point where the trailer is completely empty and we might turn this into an office for sue so anyway we got a lot of things to come a lot of projects to come uh, i just wanted to give you an update on uh, you know been a little slow getting going on uh, some of the projects and and videos also I'm going to be basically making all the videos coming up uh, and I'm in the process of learning to do the editing so um, it's gonna take a little bit of time it's gonna take me some time to learn um, you know hopefully we can still put out just the same quality of, of product of videos um, but anyway that's where we're at anyway, more to come soon